Cancer, so, what's poppin', baby? It's your boy from Cancer Mr. Terror coming at you guys with your May 2019 Love Terror reading, alright? Let's see what's poppin'. The sun, moon, rising, the Venus, Cancers. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below, okay? Keep in mind, it's a general read. It may resonate, it may not. If it does, that's amazing. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing terror readers that we got here on YouTube. Let's take a look and see what's cracking like for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Cancers. May 2019, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. May 2019. Let's shuffle. Let's take a look and see what's cracking like in between you and whomever you're dealing with. All right? All right. What's going on for my crowd gang? Cancer. Energy that's present. We got a two for four pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Seven minus four is three. We're doing the quick maths, baby. Okay? Oh my God. You guys got to watch that video. Have you guys ever seen the video called Man's Not Hot? You, you should watch that video. Anyways, uh, seven of pentacles, four of pentacles, three of pentacles. You want to work something out with another person. But the thing is, is that it's not about you. Um, you're all for working out. The other person that you're dealing with is not working with you. So there's a resistance here. You want to work something out with a certain individual. The person you're dealing with is resisting that energy, okay? Can be vice versa. So go with what side it resonates to. Overall, those seven of pentacles, you're trying to be patient about somebody. And it's not even just patience. I feel like the seven of pentacles energy here is almost faith, Cancer. Like you have a lot of faith in a person, okay? And you have faith that they're going to come back around to you and that this person's going to be with you. And the four of pentacles is like, I just can't let go of this faith because I love this person so much that anything can change, okay? And you know what was crazy today? I actually ended up saw, uh, seeing something on Twitter. It was like, you never know what, what, like, what could happen. It was basically a relationship in which um, three years ago, this couple had broken up and three years later the guy just messaged the girl back his ex-girlfriend and said hey listen like i've always loved you and can we just give this a second chance it was three years later and then they have been together for like a year and a half now and they've been happy together so you never know when the tables can turn the tables can turn at any given time um and it can always be the right person at the wrong time sometimes you are very far advanced in your growth in your spirituality and your development and the person you're dealing with is not as advanced as you where they have to go through whatever they need to go through whatever they need to learn okay so i'm not a big advocate for um you know it's not the right time i usually try to advocate that any time is the right time time is fluid time doesn't exist but in certain cases i can say that um certain people are on certain levels of growth certain people are on certain levels of development and cancer i feel like you're on that level of development where you're already pretty high spiritually you're already pretty high um in a mature way and like maturity wise i feel like you guys are very high in the romantic way okay and you're looking for that settle down you're looking for that potential partner you're looking for that home security and stability okay fourth house energy is what you're looking for okay but the person you're dealing with they're probably not ready for all that yet let's take a look though okay moving forward Absolutely. So, Eight of Wands, here's your energy. Wanting to talk to the other person. You may send this person a message out of the blue like, hey, we haven't spoken in a while. How are you? Person you're dealing with here, Two of Swords, they're stuck at a crossroad. Okay? Can be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian, um, or any sign for that matter. In regards to the person, though, clarifying the Two of Swords, why are they stuck on the decision towards Cancer if they want to be with Cancer or not? Ace of Cups, they do have love for you, but I feel like the problem is, is that they have love for another individual. Person you're connecting with may be wanted by other people as well. So it can be a third party situation for some, not saying it is, okay? But it can be for some. The thing is, is that this person has a lot of love for you, but it's very interesting on why they don't want to be with you, which we're going to get down to the bottom of that. As for the outcome, though, I am seeing Knight of Cups. Um, I am seeing offers of love coming through, whether it's you offering it to that person, Cancer, or vice versa, them offering that love to you. Now, let me make this very clear before we go any further in the reading. Reading can resonate vice versa, but if this is not your reading, if you don't want uh, an X back, or if you don't want a certain person, or if this just doesn't make sense to you, don't go out down in the comments bashing the person that you have absolute hatred for when you shouldn't hate anybody at all, because uh, there's so many people that do that. They see a reading that doesn't resonate with them. They completely bash their ex and leave a bunch of toxic comments in the comment section below, and it's not worth it, okay? Even if you hate your ex, release your ex. If you hate a person, don't hate them, okay? Send people on their way. Send them love and leave them be, all right? Let's eliminate the hate and the toxicity. Let's get it popping, though, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over their feelings, your feelings, where energies are aligning, and the outcome for the month of May, all right? Now, in regards to who you're connecting with, let's take a look. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does the person Cancer is dealing with feel towards them? May 2019. How does the person that Cancer is dealing with feel towards them throughout May 2019? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, person you're dealing with, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, in an energy where it was always so dodgy with you. And that's how I feel with this person. 
okay? Big water sun energy you have popping out here. With the seven of cups, they're not ready. And I feel like the person you're dealing with has a lot of karma that they're dealing with. And when I say karma, I'm not gonna use karma in the way that maybe other people interpret it. I interpret karma in a different way. The way that I see karma is action and consequence, right? So when you do an action, there's ultimately a consequence. So for example, if this person chooses to date somebody else, that's their action, the consequences is they don't get to date you. This person did a lot of actions, but their actions were never really balanced out on based off of what they wanted, okay? Um, it feels like the person you're dealing with sees a lot of potential with you and they see a lot of love with you, but at the same time, they don't see everything that they wanted in a partner, therefore they kept looking around, okay? Because there was something that you were missing that they wanted to have, and therefore they looked for that in other people. Put it this way, Cancer, you had everything this person could imagine, minus just one or two things. And they tried to look for the one or two things in the full package in another person, instead of grow and develop with you, okay? That's the energy that I'm seeing. And ultimately, Cancer, it feels like they fucked themselves. It's gonna be a Pisces here, and we have the Seven of Swords energy here as well. Um, and it feels like the person you're dealing with is kinda um, intuitively feeling deep down below, like, shit, I made a wrong decision. Because you treated them well, right? You focused on loving them, and they missed out on the Four of Wands. They missed out on a stable relationship because you brought stability to the table. You brought love to the table. You brought comfort to the table, okay? And this person is like, hey, maybe you didn't have all I exactly wanted in a person, but we could have grown together and changed those things. It was probably very minimal things that they wanted in you that you probably could have possessed and had. So this person's in an energy right now where they're like, wow, like I kind of really fucked up and really missed out on a good um, relationship, a connection, and let alone a stable one, okay? Now, excuse me, in regards to your energy and feelings towards this person, let's take a look. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, May 2019. How does Cancer feel towards the person they're dealing with? Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Justice card, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, and Two of Wands. Yeah, you're still about them. And that's the thing, because Wheel of Fortune to the Three of Cups, it's like, at the end of the day, you know, that's what you want. This is what your favor is. You do want reconciliation with this person. You do want to come back around towards this person. Um, and at the end of the day, it feels like you're just waiting on them. You're waiting for the call. You're waiting for the judge. You're waiting for the call, right? Because Six of Pentacles here as well, it's like... Uh, you're willing to put the past behind you. You're willing to move forward with one another. You're willing to uh, be in that space where it's like, okay, we can create something new here. But the other person is just not seeing that. They're not seeing that you're coming from a genuine space saying, it's okay, like I'm letting the past go. I'm not clinging to that past, okay? The devil card. Yeah, the person you're dealing with is holding on to negative attachments possibly, which is hindering the connection, hindering the relationship. The fool card here as well. You want to move forward with this person and you want to be all go. So it's like, I want to put the past behind us, but you are the only one that is keeping and hindering the connection. It's the other person, not you. They're hindering the connection because they're not willing to put the past aside. They need to let go of those feelings. This is why your advancement of your soul is different because you are allowing the past to go and you're knowing that if a reconciliation is going to be taking place, it has to be a brand new relationship. You cannot restart a relationship or reconcile a relationship based off of what happened in the past. You have to put the past aside in order to grow a new relationship, in order to grow together, okay? And the past ideally doesn't really exist. It is a frame of your memory, which scientifically proven, uh, we tend to change a memory every time we look at a memory. So it's like the past doesn't really exist, nor does it really fucking matter, right? So the other person here, they have to get over that in order to even have a chance here with you, okay? You're all for it they're blocking it in regards to where energies are aligning let's take a look here okay shit yep they will be coming back towards you four swords reverse and strength reverse they'll be coming back towards you but they won't be strong enough to um really work things with you is what i'm feeling chariot card here to the knight of swords you'll be trying to work it with this person ten of cups you'll be letting them know how much you love and care for them the problem is is that they're still in a very um weak-minded state is what i'm feeling and i don't mean to be harsh but it feels like they are still in that weak-minded state where they don't really know if this will truly work they have the love for you they do have the appreciation for you they do want to be with you but they're unsure if it would work but the sun card you guys will end up being happy as for the outcome between you two at the end of the month okay six of wands i see victory i see good energy here okay will the other person drop the past in regards to cancer Okay? Yeah, Ace of Swords and the Judgment card. They will drop the past here. They will speak their truth. They will tell you how they truly feel. And with the Judgment card, they do want a second chance at this. Uh, clarifying further in regards to the Judgment. What's making them want a second chance? Queen of Cups. Because they still love you. 
and because they miss you. Queen of Cups to the Six of Cups. So that's an energy right there. Um, it does feel like they will be cutting the past though, because Ace of Swords to the Six of Cups, that's them cutting out the past for you guys. So I am seeing that the person that you're dealing with more than likely will, yes, thank you, and the Emperor's energy being here as well, okay? They do want to grow with you, they do want to move forward with you, okay? Uh, which is a good energy. Can be a Libra here. You can be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, a Cancer, you can be connecting with a Pisces, um, another Libra, I only read the Major Arcana, Aquarian, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and that's all I see for Major Arcana energies, but overall, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? So they will, they will, because that's been a problem that's been hindering you two from coming together for a long time, it's that the person you were dealing with wouldn't drop the past, now they're making the moves, and now they're willing to drop the past, okay? More than likely, they had to go through their advancement because two people are always on different levels but when you guys are on the same level the same plane of resonation is when you two come together okay so cancer you were on the level of i'm willing to start something new they weren't on that for a while they were on regurgitating the past repeating the past more than likely the person you're dealing with too they've probably been in cycles with other people where they repeated the exact same thing that happened with you so it feels like they had a learning experience now. And because they learn from it, they're like, okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. Let me go with the person that makes me feel good. Let me go with the person that treats me right, okay? Now, many of you Cancers, We'll take back this person because there is reconciliation here, an opportunity of reconciliation here. If you don't want to take back the person, you don't have to. But that's an overall lesson that I'm seeing here, okay? They probably went through other cycles with other people that had the same exact outcome as your connection here, and then they had to realize that. You were on a higher advancement, they weren't, but now I'm seeing them going on to the same vibrational frequency, which is good overall, okay? Cancer, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, of course, let me know down in the comments down below. Take care and have a great one, and I will catch you guys for your May mid-month love tarot reading. All right, peace.